Okay, so let's dissect uh, the radical mechanism a little bit. Uh, like ionic mechanisms, uh, radical mechanisms follow patterns, okay? And so we're going to look at those patterns and we're going to see what we can make of them. Now, there's some important differences. Radical mechanisms don't, for example, rearrange. So carbocations rearrange, radicals do not rearrange. Uh, radicals are resonant stabilized, right? There's a similarity, but carbocations, uh, uh, yeah, and carbocations also are resonant stabilized, right? So radical mechanisms follow six key arrow pushing uh, patterns. Do you remember what the ionic mechanisms, the, uh, the four patterns that we talked about before, right? I'm not going to name them right now because frankly, I, if I forgot one, I would feel really silly. So, radical mechanisms follow six, and let's look at them. Homolytic cleavage, right, which is what we already discussed, where one electron goes off with each atom, okay? This is initiated by, by heat or light, and we're going to indicate light with an H nu. This is for Planck's constant, and nu is for frequency. So, this is like the energy that comes, this is the, right, energy is equal to H nu. This is the energy we get from light. And sometimes they're initiated by heat, which will indicate by a delta sign. Okay, so homolytic cleavage, that's easy. Uh, addition to a pi bond, which I don't think is easy, right? So you've got this pi bond here, and you've got one electron comes off, another electron comes, that, that radical electron comes here, and it makes the bond. So there's the new bond that got made, then the other electron goes over here as a radical. Okay, so you have addition to a pi bond, you have hydrogen abstraction which is where uh, a radical comes along and makes a bond with a hydrogen, right? Boom, there's the new bond right there, boom, okay? And then this, this uh, electron goes off with the, with the um, alkyl group. You have halogen, so you have hydrogen abstraction, halogen abstraction, okay? And where are we here? We have elimination, and that is where it's the, this is the opposite of, um, this is the opposite of addition to a pi bond. Can you see what was going on? This is a reverse of addition. See what's going on here? Exactly opposite of what we had a minute ago. Coupling, which is where you get the um, two radicals coming together to make a bond. You see that? There's the new bond. This is the opposite of homolytic cleavage. Okay? So in general, we can see that, that uh, these are three things which are the opposite of each other, right? We have hydrogen abstraction, which is where the X takes the hydrogen. We have another hydrogen abstraction where the where the alkyl group takes it back, right? So there's hydrogen here, hydrogen here. We have hydrogen abstraction, which is goes either way. We have addition to a pi bond. We have elimination from a pi bond. We have coupling, and we have homolytic cleavage. So these are the are the uh, relationships that we have. Now we're going to um, talk about these three relationships or patterns in terms of the steps of a. Um, the steps of a radical mechanism. First of all, we have initiation. This is where everything starts, right? Does that sound like initiation? This is where everything starts. It starts when you get a bond, and then you have radicals after the bond, right? So this initiation might come from heat. It might come, how do you spell H new? Might come from light, right? So either way, we have initiation where the, the whole darn thing starts. A bond is uh, cut in half, heter uh, homolytically, so we make, we make uh, radicals. That is where we get radical species from non-radical species, okay? Then we have propagation, where we get radicals from radicals. So here's a radical here, and here's a radical in the end, right? So propagation is where we get radicals from radicals, right? And then termination is where we get two radicals that come together and make a bond, right? So the complete uh, definitions of initiation, propagation, and termination are going to be discussed in future conversations. But this is sort of picking apart radical mechanisms and giving you a sort of a foundation for the conversations yet to come.